ASB is giving low equity mortgage companies just 10 days to draw down pre-approved home loans or lose the funding altogether. The bank says it's to meet new Reserve Bank lending rules, tightening up on low deposit borrowers. So can we expect other banks to follow suit? Well, with us now is Gareth Vaughan from financial commentary website interest.co.nz. Good morning to you, morning. Gareth. So they're basically pulling the rug out from under all of their low equity borrowers. Why have they decided to do this? Basically because they have got a lot of them, I guess. Um, I mean, ASB has been at the forefront of, of this low equity mortgage lending. Obviously, they are the bank who have the biggest chunk of their business exposed to the Auckland market where most of this lending is taking place. And I guess um, you know, the Reserve Bank says low equity mortgage lending has been running at about 30% of the overall total. ASB has you know, certainly been at the forefront of that. So they have to, they're having to cut this back by half or more than what they've been doing previously. And they've got this big pipeline of pre approvals remember pre-approval can run for six months so they've suddenly found that you know they've been caught out a bit here and they're having to cut it back drastically. Given in their, their latest disclosure statement I think it was 78 percent of their lending that was to low equity borrowers it begs the question are they being irresponsible? Well that, that's the net change um, in their overall lending book so they say that the percentage of new lending that was being done um, in, in low equity mortgages was around 20 in the 20s so not quite that high but still pretty high. Yeah look I mean that's that's the question that I guess the Reserve Bank is, is, is asking um, and, and and what I guess um, th they have found here is that the Reserve Bank under Graham Wheeler as governor is under new management. I mean, this is a man who, up until he took this job a year ago, was living in the United States. He saw what happened in the United States there when house prices fell, and a lot of American mortgage holders found that their mortgage was worth more than their house. Um, and so he's really worried that following the high rises in, in house prices in, in Auckland and Christchurch in particular, that if house prices stopped rising or fell in New Zealand, the same scenario could happen here. So how many borrowers might we be talking here? Is this hundreds of people? Could it be thousands of people that are affected by this overnight announcement? Look, I, I guess uh, um, that I'm guessing, but I'd say it, it would be thousands, um, you'd, you'd, you'd assume. Um, ASB is obviously one of the big four banks, has that big exposure in Auckland. You know, it's, it's the second biggest mortgage lender after ANZ in the country, so it's got to be in the thousands, I would think. Um, but some of these people may have pre-approvals with other banks, so that could be an option. So far, none of the other banks have said they're going to follow what ASB is doing, but I think it's a, it's really is a watch this space. Well, that's what I was going to ask you is, this, this is only 10 days before this comes into effect. Could they have not given some more warning, given they knew where their low equity lending was trending? Perhaps they could have, but... Um it, you know, it does seem a bit dramatic uh, doing it so quickly, um, but um, I guess they have spent some time working through their pre-approvals and just assess where they're at um, and decided they really have to do this now. Um, they do have, however, six months. I mean, the, the, the restrictions come in from October the 1st, but the banks will be tested, if you like, on them at the end of March. So they have six months, effectively, to prepare for it. So I, I guess that gives you an idea of the extent of where ASB is with this, that they're having to do this now rather than in a few months' time. It's really time. quite extraordinary to withdraw a pledge you'd made to a customer with 10 days warning. Yeah, look, it's, it's, it's probably an unprecedented move, but they're dealing with an unprecedented policy, well at least for 30 odd years we haven't seen this type of restriction in New Zealand since the 70s, early 80s. Do you think that this is going to exacerbate the impact on the housing market if low equity borrowers who thought they maybe had six months to come up to speed no longer do? Yeah, look, I, I think what we're seeing with the detail of this Reserve Bank policy coming through now, it's looking like it's going to have a, a more dramatic impact on the housing market than perhaps was initially thought um, and, and um, you know, the, the Reserve Bank is now also talking about making the big four banks include personal loans and credit card debt on, on mortgage or, or home loan borrowers' um, mortgages. So that means that the, those... So they're really low, cracking down. Yeah, the, the low equity, um, percentage of low equity loans at the big banks is going to probably go up as a, as a, as a result of that. Um, so that, again, is going, to, is going to crack down. But I guess that's also the Reserve Bank is trying to cut off a loophole that people might load up on credit card debt or get a top-up personal loan to help get to that 20% deposit. So other banks not following suit at the moment, but watch this space. Thank yeah, you very absolutely. much, Gareth. Yeah. That is Gareth Vaughan from interest.co.nz. Certainly a worrying time for first-time buyers.